What's up? Back again. What are we doing? AEW Dynamite, baby. That's why. It's and Wednesday. Every Wednesday. It's so good. You know, sometimes I was thinking, I wish Dynamite came on a different day. Really? Because we missed Nogi class to come watch Dynamite for y'all. Yeah. We could be doing grappling right now. Yeah. So. But then otherwise it would be like Thursday. Yeah, Thursday's not a good day either. So. Thursday. I guess Wednesday's a good day. Anyways, big news week, right? Like, what happened this week? Uh, so much. Uh, some previews. Les Sex Gods versus Ozzy Open. What do you think? Sammy Guevara is just, I don't know. <laughs> MJF addresses Samoa Joe. Oh, yeah, that, that, that tweet that he it, had. It, I didn't see the tweet. He had He's a tweet. like, I'm not the same. I'm not the same kid that you pushed around in wherever the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he pushed him against yeah. the wall. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> damn. And I'm like, okay, good luck. Yeah. And Hangman Adam Page segment. I watched the match with Brian Keith on Rampage. Oh, I missed that. I wish it was better, but it, you know, you know how it tends to be when it's an AEW guy versus like a new guy. Yeah. It's one of those kind of matches, but we'll see what Hangman has to say. Squash match. Yeah, it's a squash match a little bit. Dang, that's our boy who's yeah. from Texas. In some fallout from all out. What would that be? I don't know. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think there's been any news items or anything this week that we should talk about. I've just been seeing stuff about about <laughs> uh, about how awesome AEW is. Yes. And I haven't been following the news. I don't really really watch. Yeah, I heard Collision's gonna be awesome now for some reason. Uh -huh. But I liked it before. So anyway, let's get on with the show. Do it. Let's go, baby. Oh, almost knocked it over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna have that clip of that match all the time now, I guess. The Orange Cassidy? No, the, the strap. <laughs> oh, the strap match. match. Oh, yeah, they had a new opener, huh? I don't wonder if Orange Cassidy's gonna be on here. I think he's gonna do some talking tonight. We'll see. I was impressed. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't know what that means. Indiana. Indiana. My sister should have went there. Uh, that would have been sick. She's in Indianapolis. Hey, it's in Indianapolis. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to call her. Hey, hurry up. Hey, get, get down there. Tonight. Get front row. Get, Kick him out. Get in the building. Okay, here it comes. We did that, remember? We were like, let's just go. And we just busted right in there. Yeah, that was awesome. Fourth row, two. Late seats, and we got seats. We missed the match, though. I, I know, we did. Match or two. Oh, no. You didn't uh, have I know. He should have his backpack with something else in it. Ladies and gentlemen, Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy is the star of Dynamite, isn't he? He is. You know my only complaints with him? I don't like his moveset. I always bitch about it. And I bitched about it during All Out, where he did the... I thought Mox was gonna hit a big old suplex on him and then he hit that stun dog thing. And I'm like, come on, bro. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What do y'all think? You like the stun, slum, stun dog millionaire? I don't like that move. And I don't like that whirl around DDT because he always does it every match. But I guess a lot of wrestlers do. Maybe I'm being unfair. No, because I feel the same way, so I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, I just feel like his matches were like very similar. I mean, I said if you've seen. But Kenny Omega always does the knee. He always does the warming an angel. He always does the moonsault. Or the, oh, the oh, sorry, the you know over the front. Yeah, what? we're being too. We're being assholes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, we take it back. Take it back. He is a good wrestler. I can't do that shit. Yeah. That's Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, we'll be quiet. This is a special moment. You don't get to see this very often. You get to see us every week. <laughs> well, speaking of us, look at us. All right, she's sh important. What? Aw, oh, thank you, Orange. Thank you, Orange. Wrestling fans. I know. It's so quiet. This is so dramatic. We'll eat instead of talking. We're eating healthy. If you talk butter time. crunch, I'm gonna be mad. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Good guy. Nice guy. So, uh, they told me to stay home.
But I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I'm going championship to work. or no championship, I will be here every single week. Because I am freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy, and I do not have a catchphrase. I know. I know. Well, there you yep. have it. <laughs> well, I kept my mouth shut most of the time. Come rain, come shine. Our faces here can't help it. Week out. I like Orange Cassidy. I like the best friends. Yeah. I especially like the Kentucky Gentleman and that Chris Statlander's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Trip Red ain't no slouch. Orange is pretty good too. I like them together. There we go. Okay, let's see. Already. What if they put it on the line right now? Yeah, it's like, get back in the ring, Orange. <laughs> get back in the ring. I want to bash the other side of your skull. This past Sunday, United Center, Chicago, Illinois. Dude, I just love the energy he brings. He's really grown on me as a People say he's really good. I know you used to hate him. I did used to hate him, and now I'm just like, yeah. yeah, you're like, I love them jogging pants. Don't ever wear trunks. <laughs> Just look dirty and lazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I just woke up, put these jogging pants on, hit the, hit the ring. And he's done for the day. Good. Woo! Uh, Seriously, though, I like the PCC gear. I always want some, but they don't sell it. Yeah, I like their rash guard that they have. Yeah. Are you saying John Moxley could potentially be a garbage? I love that. I don't like that shirt. Are we on the screen good? I think so. All right. Ooh, okay. All right, they are Fox. I think it's cool that Darby's on it, like, you know. It, yeah, he came back around to be his friend. Some history here between Darby Allen and Orange Cassidy. I don't know, I guess I'll hold my words on it. I don't really have too much of a feeling about it. I kind of like AR Fox with Swerve. I like that. Ooh, I love that. I know, man. Like, I don't know if that's going to work out. It ain't going to work out no more, but... I thought they were kind of good together. I, I think they were so You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, uh, then no offense to Mobile Embassy, because you know like Prince Nana. Mm -hmm. And Brian Cage. And Brian Cage. But sometimes they kind of come across like just the, you know, a bit of a jabroni scene in a way. But like, you know they're going to lose. Yeah. And when they had AR Fox and Swerve, they looked like they were kind of winners. Yeah. Like, oh, these guys could maybe win. Swerve should be winning. I think Swerve is going to beat Mox to take this title. Ooh. I would love that. Yeah, we'll see. He's raw bone. He's just a raw bone fighter, street fighter. Look at this, ripping the face up. Ripping the face. I think he may be even driving the knuckle into the eye, into the bridge of the nose of AR Fox. So Mox has that street fight. I don't think Mox is going to be like Orange Cassidy. I don't think he's going to win like 30 times in a row. You don't think so? No. Fox looking for a sprint. I don't think so. Takes down the champion. That's how I just kind of see this belt. Maybe. I, I think it'll change hands. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll keep it for a year. Oh! Look like Mox saved your life right there, bro. He's kind of going head first almost. Yeah. From the AEW World Champion, MJF. Tonight, you know that confrontation with Samoa Joe heavy on MJF. I mean, it looks like you really hit Mox hard right there. That's what I meant. <laughs> Took him out. Took him out. Oh, oh God. Roderick Strong. Roderick, Strong. Roderick there's your new heavyweight champ, Roderick Strong, right there. Why does he look so pathetic? <laughs> yeah. He really does, man. Oh, again, I'm way too involved online, but 
there was a, a picture of Roderick Strong. I don't know if you've seen it recently. He's all flexing. And yeah. JF was like, it doesn't matter. Flex all you want doesn't help the fact that you look like you probably cry after sex. Oh, oh, well, that's not nice. You know Marina Shapiro is his wife. Why are you crying too? Tears of joy. Hell yeah. I mean... But look I, I, no, I, I can say that on, on here. No, I, I will never say rude things like that. Nick Wayne and Darby Allen. Here's your joy for being in a loving, healthy relationship. Yes. Where Strickland attacked Nick Wayne in his own home, and then Fox many fences with Darby Allen. Marina Shapiro was on. Uh, she fought Chris Statlander. She was on. I don't blame her. On Rampage. Rampage Beach is good. They a lot of times have women main events and everything. Okay, okay. I know. It's almost like Dark used to be a little bit. Oh. Not as good, I don't think. I like Dark. Yeah, Dark is awesome. Never take it away from us. I know. Bullshit. Never take it off the internet, please. He's over. He's just like, all right, well. I'll be back. <laughs> Ruth? It's gonna be too hard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat that. That crunch too hard. Well, wait until we're on a break. I've been waiting all week to yell at the TV. Yeah. You're gonna yell my ass off. Oh, I thought they said it was going on picture in picture. Mm hmm. So we're on a t commercial break. Um. Make that volume go away. Shut up. Okay. So what do you think about this match so far? They put us right onto a commercial. I was looking forward to yelling at picture in picture, and they took that from me. I kind of wanted to see a little bit more of a beat. A little down. bit more of a match going. I want to see. I want to see some brutality already. Yeah. Thoughts? I'm ready for it. Go ahead. Start bringing beat on the ass. blood. <laughs> you know. I'm he whooped Orange there. Cassidy's ass. He did. If you notice, like, Mox did, it was, I won't say it's quite a squash match, because obviously Orange Cassidy got a lot of offense in, but Mox got the better offense in, in that fight, because mm -hmm. Orange Cassidy was not looking good at the end of that no. match. Yeah, that was amazing. And that was just, was that on Sunday? Was that like three days ago? I think it was on Sunday. Dang. Yeah. Anyways. That, it was such a overall I think that was to me the best match yeah it was good well, I didn't have any complaints about watching pay-per-views two weeks in a row did you no I think no? it was actually awesome so a lot of people were like oh I'm broke and I'm like come on it wasn't that expensive yeah I mean I guess I should be what's it called caring but some people are maybe strapped for cash. Yeah. So that's hard and they want to be fans. I would feel they could figure out other ways to watch it. Like get but a friend or yeah, watch it get together. a friend uh, on Pull the internet. Your money. You know? Uh pull your money. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked that it was I liked that all out to me felt like it was uh, a real continuation of a lot of stories that they've been doing yeah. on the show. So I would I was able to follow along with it a little bit better. Yeah. All in was like a little bit chaotic to me. I love that Athena was in there. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, yeah. And then Ruby got a match. Oh yeah, yeah. Mercedes Martinez was there. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, at all in, I, I think we, like we talked about last week, I was like a little bit overwhelmed, I think, because there was so, so much going on. Yeah. But anyways, I can't believe they put us straight on a commercial. I don't know why they're doing this now. I guess we sh we don't we don't really. Uh, Mine too much. Yeah. That, you, 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 you can't even see what's going on. Yeah. But it is more fun to yell at the commercials than to give our expert analysis between the commercials. There you go. Yeah, AR Fox coming in with the Enzigiri. And if John Moxley wasn't motivated enough Get by up. defending his AEW International Championship, you have to remember, end of last year. You remember that girl year, that was in the front row and all out? Yeah. Everyone was like complaining about her. And, well, she, and then she said she was never going to go to wrestling again. Why did people I guess because she was flipping off the Young Bucks and 
Hangman and she's a big CM Punk fan or something. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is, I didn't even mention it when we were watching it, but she had some sign about a hardcore band that was playing a show or releasing the record. Okay. You know, I don't like when people put their own shit on the, they're in the front row and they're like, go to my website. It's kind of like, uh, if it's about AEW, <laughs> if your website's about AEW, then that's cool. Oh dang! We're we're just oh. not even see anything about that. Yeah, it was on Reddit or on um, uh, Twitter. I saw the well, I saw it on Reddit from Twitter. I don't go on Twitter. Oh, dang. But Hangman Page is like saying, "Don't be don't do that to fans," because I guess people said they were gonna kick her ass or something. Oh, that's what she said. I don't know. I wasn't there. That world championship eliminated tournament. They will be facing off against one another tonight in our main. There's a lot of I love when he does that. There's a lot of people who are crappy out there. I know. It really sucks. Like, they think that because someone's online, they can whatever, say whatever they want to them. Sucks. Not me, I say it to you, Pace. Meet me in the streets. Anytime, any place. Austin, Texas. Kicking out, but just barely. Hit me up. Barely escaped. You are right. That was the big shot by Fox. Let's see what he has to follow it up with. For as tough as John Moxley is, to, as we mentioned it during picture in picture, fatigue maybe. Okay. This is not gonna work out. Double wrist lock, perfectly done. Moxley with the oh. tight and now. Yeah. Hammer and hands and elbows with the arm of Fox. Claudio sucks. Fox. Fox Don't say that. Completely defenseless as Moxley hits the ropes. No, Fox comes back and yeah. Gary staggers Moxley. Oh, oh my god, that was brutal. Jeez, bro. Yeah. He said, all right, I'm kind of done playing games with you. Yeah. That was loud as hell. He always fucks up the kids. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You know what? So this is like, what do you call this? Uh... Not insiders talk, because we're not insiders, but yeah, we don't know. I bet if Mox is always opening like Orange Cassidy was, he won't be bleeding all over the place. It's too early, because that's when the little kids are still watching. Right. Yeah. I think, Even though I would, I don't mind it. I know. Little kids get bloody all the time. It's a big deal. But however, we did watch a little bit of All Out with a non-wrestling person or mm -hmm. and remember she was like is that real oh uh, well yeah oh yeah oh yeah we were like yeah it is yeah and we were all like yeah they're getting busted open man and he hit him with that steel stout so oh yeah it's 100 percent real <laughs> we're just like okay. i'm like uh, come on okay a little dirt they're best buddies again Hey, I mean, look, I think I would forgive you, but AR Fox did whoop uh, Nick Wayne's ass pretty bad. I guess. And then Darby, Darby, it's really easy for Darby to tell him to forgive. He wasn't the one left in a pile of blood. Uh-oh. Hello, Nick. How are you feeling tonight? <laughs> look how big he is. Somebody else? He's taking up half the screen. He's That's, huge. Nick, you're a fine boy. And listen, He's after turn finding on out last him. week that your father used to be a professional wrestler, I decided to go back and watch a little bit of footage on him. And I feel like I owe you an apology. He was even worse than I thought he uh -huh. was. But listen, <laughs> Nick, don't be offended. I know you're just trying to make your way, you're trying to look for a mentor, and you think that Darby Allen is that guy. But I have to say, if you want a true mentor, maybe you should be looking at a champion. Something to mull over. See you around, Nick. I love Lucha. Hey, Say hi to like, your mom for me. <sighs> Say hi to your mom. Christian Cage <laughs> is Luchasaurus from the grotesque. side is yeah, wider than Nick Wayne's side. Well, he's offering his uh, mentorship. <laughs> I think that was actually that's nice. so sad. That's so true. Yes. Yeah, let's go. This is an open but anyways, like I was saying, it's Nick Wayne got his ass whooped, dude. He did Bad. in his own house. They broke in his house, beat the shit out of him, broke the picture of his dad over his head. That was crazy. <laughs> and, then, and then Darby's like, you should just forgive him. <laughs> what? 
he broke champion in his house and beat the shit out of him, broke his dad's back. picture over his head. For me, I feel like he's a new guy, so he's just getting hazed. Yeah, I guess. You know, so it's kind of like, get over it, dude. Like, Another commercial? Wow. Something's going on here. She looks like a fake version of that girl from the, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? The girl with the, uh, from that bit movie, yes, American Pie. Yes. Yeah. So she shoveled. Oh, She's sorry. She's a bootleg person. Yeah, bootleg, bootleg flute girl. God. Hey, remember? She was yes. like. Yes. That girl uses the downy bottle. No. Nope. Don't ask me how. She's like, one time at the laundromat. No, no. Cut gang bang. What? Nothing. Oh, I'm going to have to edit this. Or oh, we're getting live tonight. No. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we should be talking about the match, but. Well, maybe I'll fast forward through some of this if they keep putting commercials on us like this. I, I don't know. Is this is this new? Uh, uh, are we not logged in? Or I mean, yeah, we're logged in. Maybe they heard our complaints. Yeah, they, now they're like, they like, oh, you guys liked it better when we had commercials, did you? So here we go. Long as I don't have to see a commercial for Young Sheldon, for Sheldon, right before I was starting AEW, I saw I, I happened to accidentally catch a couple seconds. Uh -huh of that show and I was like dude I would punch that dude in the face I would go to jail if I saw him then it's be like for all the pain you put me through Sheldon <laughs> they have to listen to you and see you you know he has security he has to he's, he's got a luchasaurus on the he's side he's such an asshole probably people want to whoop his ass all day every day I, I, maybe he's cool in real life but I don't think so I bet he's exactly the same mm. I would break that dude's face Sheldon yeah, get out. Next, the next episode, you'd be drinking through a straw. No, eating through a straw. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Eating, eating soup. Liquids only. Okay, so anyways, back to AEW. They're putting commercials on our ass this week, killing all my uh, what's it called energy. But what do you think about Darby? Am I wrong? I think to me, I get it. Would Darby. you forgive him? Well, Darby is just trying to win on both sides. He I wants guess. Nick Wayne and he wants AR Fox. He wants to like be able to appease both of them for different reasons, I think. Yeah. So, I don't really believe it, I guess. I wouldn't forgive him. Not, I mean, it's, it really has only been a couple weeks. It's not like it was two years ago. It was like two weeks ago. It wasn't two weeks ago. It, okay, it was like three weeks ago. Okay. It wasn't that long ago. It's in my recent memory and I don't yeah. remember that much. Yeah. I remember that. Specifically, there was a gigantic puddle of blood on the floor. Yeah, that was awesome. That's <laughs> was like, I know. And, it, and he looked at the picture of his dad and then he cracked him over the head with it. That was one of the best segments. It was awesome. Uh, Dude, it made Swerve look like a serial killer. And I and I like. Uh, okay, welcome back to AEW Dynamite. Oh, we are moments Chris away from an open Stat challenge for Chris Statlander. Dang, she looks PBS awesome. Hell yeah! Yeah! I, I think Chris Statlander could really whoop some ass. Not gonna have to wait too much longer. Let's go back down to Justin Roberts. She could be. I bet she, she could body slam. I bet she could do inter intergender matches and do really. Yeah. I, I was telling, I was telling you she, she used to, she used to wrestle against John Silver. I watched those matches. Has wrestled more than 2,200 matches in her 28-year career. She's probably match wrestled that many this year. She wrestles like every damn day of the week. She's always something. Yes. Me Sakura is just yes. an icon, a legend. Yes. She's been back once. Chris Statlander's ass. Emmy. I'm kind of liking this evil theme song she's got going on here. It's so creepy. Come on, put a hurt on her, Emmy. Now this better be a good match. Yeah, please don't. Don't be no two-minute match. Don't job out, Emmy. You know? What is she pending? God, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> what do you think about Chris Statlander's look like this? Do you like her better like this or like in her old outfits with like the blue? I like the blue. I don't like this. But yeah, the like black the brown panties kind of look. I don't, I don't like understand the design. Yeah. yeah. I think it's... Someone in the, in the audience tell me what the design is on... Chris's stuff. Yeah, what is it? Her ring gear. Yes! 
God, I love her so much. Just making this into a slugfest. Chris Statlander, remember, just days removed from that very physical contest with Ruby Soho, as now Emmy Sakura, the lateral. Wait, there was a match with her and Ruby Soho? I didn't see that. Did Emmy? No, with Emmy and Ruby. She's going at it. Right yeah, I like Chris when she was wearing pants. Me too. She looked like cool. I don't know. Chris Statlander nowhere to go between a rock and a hard place, <laughs> or a soccer and a steel step. As now I think she's trying to be more serious nowadays. Because she was kind of you know goofy before, I guess. Yeah, I can see that. But I think she's good at that, being kind of funny. I guess she just wants to take it more. I guess like be more serious. Yeah. I don't know, like a different. She wants to, to validate that that belt. Yeah, true. Plus, I can't remember. I don't think she was wearing them knee braces before. She was. She was before yeah. in the pants. Pretty sure. Yeah, she was. I remember. <laughs> Damn. Stunning Sakura. Oh! Hey, look, there's a referee guy. I wonder if it's the same one. He's there. Why do people wear referee shirts at a pro wrestling event? I, I don't get it. They want, that is the same guy, I'm pretty sure. It is? And you just Maybe probably, players. right? Yeah. And down, you gotta assume. Is it the same guy? It's not always the same guy, is it? I don't know, but he looks he extremely similar. Maybe I can yeah. see very much. Yeah, referee shirt guy. Throughout yeah, and he was at, I'm pretty sure, all out, too. They've met multiple times in tag team matches. They're only one on oh. one. <laughs> Meeting <laughs> prior to this <laughs> was a victory for Statlander. You know, that's gotta be way more than a Yes. Yeah, I always say Chris Statlander looks tough as hell to me. Yes. And you know, in the video game, she looks awesome too. Yeah. She's fun to play. But she has like her old look in the game, right? Yeah, like face paint. Yeah, yeah, I like that one though. I personally like that one in this. This is too boring. Tremendous strength by Chris Statlander, but Amy Sakura finds her foot out. Great balance by Sakura that time. Bringing Statlander back up, the double underhook. Could be looking for that backbreaker. Oh no. Oh no. And Statlander vertical. But perhaps not for <laughs> long. Giving the champ plenty of time to think about it. Oh. That's, oh. The, That's oh. a move you like. Yeah. Leg is hooked. Dang. Didn't get the win. Shows you how bad Statlander wants to hang on to a TBS. I love her outfit. It looks really. I don't know. For some reason, it just looks so good against Chris's boring yeah, 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 it's like some um, like what could this video be game type yeah, thing. Soccer, yeah. Yeah. Feeling confident. Oh, it's just, I like it's got that little bit of Japanese oh, style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of Chris Stanlander for being able to rise up like that. The queen of the oh, no. Rides any soccer down face first. Stat hits the rope. Oh, discus dang. That, those discus <laughs> lariats look so awesome, especially when there's a the big person doing it. Oh. I, I don't like that move. I think she should have a better finishing move. Do you? Or am I wrong? Y'all tell me. Do you like Chris Statlander's finishing move there? I don't really necessarily like it. I don't know. To me, it looks good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dang, she's awesome. I just think she should do something more brutal. Like, like, I don't know what, but... More than up to the test. Sometimes it looks because it takes a little bit of time to set it up. And, you know. Yeah, look at her go. Yeah, she does look awesome. Yeah, let's go. I'll take it. I get that. Austin, Texas, let's go. Dude, I, she's so good with this belt. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, where do I start? The first thing is this. My parents. He was chubby. They just didn't know how to be parents. Well, he's got a didn't nice give themselves a chance. They were all wrapped up shirt on. in their own problems. My mom dealing with her drug issue. My dad with his alcoholism. Yeah, their relationship was everything that I know I never wanted. I mean, it got so bad that even my sister left. The hardest part Damn, of it Ronnie. all was taking care of myself. Night in and Why night out. Why are you gonna out, make me cry now? A BB now? gun by my side. I'm a Roddy passing fan. out. Alone, 
Wrestling gave me an opportunity nerd. to be something that I was not. No one was judging me when I was in there for what my parents were doing, for how much money I didn't have. So he when didn't people live in a say professional wrestling it. is just a business, it isn't to me. It is my everything. Oh, I thought he had his hands on their knees. But <laughs> He's on the chair. <laughs> I already knew that. Yeah. I grew up alone. And I'm gonna win this Grand Slam tournament alone. All right, Roddy. And that starts tonight. You're, I got, you're on my side. I'm on your side. Okay. Let's go, Roddy. Team Roddy, right here. Wow, Roddy are strong. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be Team Roddy. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Just me. Me and Lola. I'm, I'm, I'm his only fan. On. Something about him just makes me feel like he's a baby. Don. You're not a real man like this, Don Callis. Look at his shoes. Of Kanosuke Takeshita when Kaneshta, excuse me, Takeshita Kaneshta? pinned Kenny Omega for the Why second time. Why does he look so evil? Days, Omega, oh on no. Why is Don Callis out here anyway? History, Just friend. to do some mind to be an ass. It's great. I'm happy to be involved in everybody's business. Alright, girl. Jericho. She's like, uh, I'm not gonna sing this song. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I don't like this. You know they would be loving to hang out with Chris Jericho. Mm, those girls? Those girls. Yeah. They're probably big Jericho fans. I want Look, he's like a rocker and everything. He like has his own cruise. I always want to go on the Jericho cruise, but I never went. I am not in the cruise. You don't want to go? No, I hate but they, I, I know, but they have like wrestling there. Oh, that's true. Sheena was there. She don't want to go on the cruise. Dang. Everybody going so hard for this song right now, and I love it. Yeah. That girl loves it. So this is my favorite oh, song. Nobody Gina. cares about Sammy. I feel so bad for They don't care. I, I say it every week. Sammy, you're better than this. I guess he's just trying to stay Ain't no one singing Sammy's song. Yeah, they didn't even show, like, his image, right? No. Like, his... Dang, that looks like, yeah! Judas, man. Look at all, hey, see, this is why, this is why AEW and wrestling rule. Look at all those different people. Oh. And they're all loving it. You know they don't listen to that kind of shit. Dude. They just love that song. As the open, it's gonna put a hurting on them, and I can't. They should! Mark Davis. Mark Davis. Oh, I mean, they should whoop their ass. They were the champions. They're a real tag team. We need to scoot yeah. over a little bit. Which way? Nice. Looks like one. Hey. I have to put my leg like this because I don't know. I'm gonna get sweat. Sorry, it hurts. My leg. I don't care about being all sweaty. Why does your leg hurt? I don't know, I just my you got knee mark? No, my hip is just feeling kind of pissed. Hey, anyone out there, $500 challenge, come to Austin and whoop Ritz ass if you can beat her. Oh man, that's gonna be <laughs> so much money. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Take, it back. take it back, take it back. No, your knee's alright? Yes, my hip. You know what? It feels like it needs to. See, Sammy's a Texas boy too, so we know we're gonna root for him. That we want better for Sammy. Not this Chris with the Jericho guy. He is okay. Chris Jericho is one of the greatest of all time. Be with him forever. He's doing nothing, bro. Four years. Oh my God! You think Sammy got a raise in these four years? Full year in November. All right, where at? It's here at four. Where's the Kia four? Is that in LA? Starting this Friday, Pacific time. AEWTIX.com. 
Mark Davis asked me I'm earlier not sure. today. Oh, my was goodness. Where's the meat? Remember? Yeah, yeah, like yeah we didn't even talk about that. Meat, 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 meat. Kanosuke Takeshita was defeated yeah. Kenny Omega twice. Was that match ruled, too. That was awesome. Oh, they told me, uh, someone told me online why Miro was all mad at Lena. Right. He said he gave up his wife and God. That's why he was the Redeemer. And then she came back. And so he was, like, upset about it or something. Oh. I still don't quite get it, but so some, 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 some things that he was, I don't know exactly, but. Man, where's your wife? Yeah, where's your wife? Speaking of people's wife. She's at home pregnant. You're hanging out with this guy. He's a bad influence, Sammy. And I think that's why the sex guards actually work very well as a tag team. If Jericho went back to New Japan, do you think he's taking Sammy with him? No. No. Double clothesline by Mark Davis taking Jericho and Guevara off. Both oh, yeah. Feet and there's a oh, you were talking about, Tony. Big snake eyes. Yeah, man, Tony. Yes. That's Kyle Fletcher. Oh. Little oh, pickles are good. Hell, yeah. They're going to use their size here. To muscle up on the crowd away. Oh my gosh. Chop to the chest. Oh. Fletcher ate it for lunch. Sammy got hot though. Oh, he he's does. tough. He's tough. Big man. Oh. Who has the worst haircut? Sammy or Kyle Fletcher? Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's is worse, right? Alright. But Kyle is pretty bad. Yeah, but for some reason, Sammy's is, is pretty horrible. Uh, you know, that's why he can never be a baby face, because he looks like such an ass. Yeah. Like, uh, just stay with it. Stay with it, man, or change your looks. The they were cheering Sammy. They said Sammy, Sammy. The midsection Kyle Fletcher the tag out to Jericho. Oh. The Jericho's the master at letting his partner do the work and then coming in and taking all the glory. Kind of like you, Don. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. No way. Oh, great teamwork, man. This is great stuff. And that will really get that point. I love this boots. Paul Turner, what are you doing? doing? I mean, what do you care what he's doing? Himself, guys. Come on. Whoa! Cheap, but I think there's an opportunity to cheat. Hell yeah. I mean, it's no double closed line. <laughs> yeah. It's no kangaroo kick. Team action continues live on Dynamite. Oh, here's my first yelling and screaming opportunity. All right, finally. What is this shit? With Friday Night Vibes. On Friday Night CBS. Vibes. That sounds like it should be on a different channel. It's a night for the culture. Fabulous. <laughs> About the culture. It's my body God. Friday Night wow. Vibes every Friday at eight on TV. I don't even know what Friday Night Vibes is. New class is. of tunes is starting at Agri University. Think funny thoughts. Is this new? I guess. Yeah, this is not. Yeah. Is that funny? What I call Tiny Looney Tunes, Tunes baby. Saturday mornings at nine. Oh, that's Saturday cartoon. mornings. That's cute that they have cartoons on Saturday mornings. I guess. Well, it's a cartoon. Cartoon Network. I think they have cartoons all the time. You think so? I don't know. I could be wrong. Don't go. I don't know. Please go. Get off my TV. Please don't go. My legs falling asleep. We're all broken. Hip, broken up. My hips all screwed up. Yeah, my, my knees are wrecked. I think us sitting all day also doesn't help at doesn't all. Doesn't help. A big screen you can take with you. No, but I can watch AW on that. So yeah, it would look pretty good. Pretty good. Wouldn't qualify. But it's a weird shape though, so it'd probably just be on hand. It's a fall over. That'd be annoying. No upfront yeah. cost. Sometimes you need a second opinion. asshole. <laughs> good to go. Yeah, I think. Push his head into that engine. Slam the hood on this guy. Hit him with. Look, where's Triple? They should have Triple H on this commercial. Hit him with the sledgehammer. I'm gonna give a second opinion. With innovation refunds, there's no upfront wow. cost. This to guy find sucks. Out, so though. why not check like I, I would never buy anything with this guy. Like Take the first step. Hey, See if you're a small who, business. If that guy's a spokesman, would you buy anything he's selling? No. I ain't buy. If you're selling coffins, maybe I'll buy one. Because <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a damn vampire. He looks like he's. Uh, yeah, he looks like a mortician. He does look like a mortician. Yeah. Like that. I mean, no offense to any morticians out there. Hopefully, you don't look like that guy. Yeah. He looks smart, like, to me, like a vampire. I don't know. That's why I see vampire when I see NFL him. Players choose to sleep That's smart bullshit. Day. That's a lie. They should be sued. 
eighty percent. He said eighty percent of people in the NFL use a sleep number bed. That's a lot. If they gave a hundred percent of them to them the for game. free, maybe. Yes. Law two. That's exactly right. I mean, because how else would they all buy the same bed? Yeah. They don't buy that shit. They just go on Amazon and buy whatever. Yeah, they buy the purple mattress. Yeah. In the box. Law four. Use doubt to your advantage. Law four. When I was what? a kid. I used to play grown men for Slurpee money. Now, you I ain't, got my face on a Slurpee You cup. ain't nothing. I wonder if Slurpees... I want a Slurpee She right sucks. Now. Cooper, stay hungry. This girl ain't nothing. And a triple-double sandwich. Well, Law six. I don't know Go anything about basketball. Street. She might be the greatest Law of all seven. time. Who knows? I have no idea. Wow, this is a really long commercial. This commercial sucks. Who is this? Some loser. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, so what is this about? Nike shoes or what the hell is this? Her name is Sabrina because it said Sabrina's Laws on the boat. Oh, wow. I got a law for you. Law one, get the hell off my TV. Law two, do it or die. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't you dare insult me with it. It's AEW time. There he goes. Let's see it. That's surprising that he yeah. put him down. Come on. Throw that old man out of the ring. Hindus crew. Uh oh, Jericho. What are you doing up there? It's too high for you. Jericho. I love when they do their finishing. I will say I like the way that Jericho stumbles around. He seriously looks hurt. Oh, that was pretty nice. I didn't even see it. I was yelling at you. That's that athleticism of Guevara that I mentioned before. Guys. What did Sammy do? Jump in there and break now, up the move? He did the stunner on top rope. Oh. Oh. That looked pretty good. Yeah, it broke his jaw. Okay, that's what I was going to no say. No way. Uh, come on. How is Roderick Strong going to win a match wearing a neck brace? I just don't know. I'm sick of Roderick Strong and his baby self. Teams from around the world in the last 18 months. Shot to the chest. By Jericho. Reversal. Great Jericho. As Fletcher finds his footing, as Jericho, there's the drop kick to fans. We will hear from the world champion, JF, live in the Dynamite, but right now, I'm going to make sure I can keep this roll looking awesome. Let's see it. Let's see it, Sammy. Yeah! And twisting, flipping, and stealing. That's good. Perfectly done right there by Sammy. That was sick. It's pretty awesome. Sammy's a good wrestler. Yeah, he hasn't really been getting too much shine lately. No? see Jericho. Head to the outside. Chris Jericho. Oh! Jericho showboating wins. Oh! Oh, he They should just leave him out there all knocked out. Oh, God. Look how freaking huge that guy is. That's a big dude, man. And he moves as wide as hell. And I just... Crazy. Uh, he looks like real old school. I like it. Yeah. Roundhouse kick. Now Davis and Jericho up the Aussie. Oh. There it is, Davis. With the cover. Okay, that was... That looked like three to me. Instincts of a champion right there. That's what Jericho just exemplified on that late kick out. Kyle Fletcher's haircut is bad. I guess I don't have a lot of room to talk. I ain't got the greatest haircut either, but... I, for some reason, it fit, to me, it fits for him. He's such an asshole. It's so nerdy. Yeah, you're right. It's like a complete... Like, it's like a, like a, like a pretentious asshole yeah, yeah. haircut. Nice. Yeah, it's like a total, like... Crappy hair. Yeah, prissy like, little bitch hair. Yeah. I'm gonna part it straight down the middle like Hulk Alpha. Oh no. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. Put that old man down. And that, uh, speaking of signs in the front row, that guy needs to work on his sign game. What is it? I can't read none of it. It just looks like a white sign with a bunch of shit scrubbed on it. Ooh! It's like color those letters in, bro. Okay. I'm trying to read the sign so I can yell and make fun of you. I can't even read it. Terrible. Terrible. Ruining my show. You're going to put a sign in the front. Yeah. And yeah. you want everybody to talk about it. Bingo and Bluey. I don't know what it said. Play some stupid inside joke again. Fans are loving the action tonight on Dynamite. Chris Jericho, not so much as he has been getting battered by Halsey Oak for the last few years. Jericho counters. Yeah, twice, twice. Don't do a roll up, please. Even though I want you to win, I don't want you to win. No, come on. He put him out. Knocked his ass out cold. Well, you know what? You needed that win, Emmy. Yeah. You really did. They were saying they're gonna try to be the tag team champions. That ain't happening. But no I way. do like the idea of that. Might get a title shot. Maybe. That would be really big for Sammy. Yeah. But I think they were talking about the AEW title, not the ROH one. Oh, let's see this again. What are you doing talking about Sammy? Really fire in this match and Sammy. Yeah, but that'll happen in the course of a battle, guys. You all know this. What are you complaining about? Okay. No. Look at Sammy's little booty. I know. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Sammy, Salter, what do you care if they fight? They're two grown men, they're friends, they want to fight. Let them fight. Look at Sammy's little cheek. You know? That's his trunks, you know? He's been working on that. <laughs> Well, see, Ty Mello never gets to see him, so he's got to look good for her on TV. That's the only time she sees his ass, because he's, he's flying around the world with Jericho. Yeah. She's pregnant. She she's hungry, lonely, pregnant. She had to go back to Brazil and stay with her mom. Oh, I said that last week, but I said it again. Because Sammy is a half He's not a father yet, but... He's too busy living that high life. Yeah, he's too busy drinking champagne, hanging out with Chris Jericho. And nobody seems very happy about this. This crowd is like, hmm. Yeah, they're not feeling it. Did they say Brian Danielson? This match rule with y'all is a you should go watch it. Another curveball, another obstacle thrown in my way. I did everything in he my power. He said they had never wrestled together. No. Ricky Starks is the man, dude. Ricky Starks should be the champ. A match like this changes. Ricky Starks could beat Mox. That's crazy. His face is turning beat red. He's saying no, no, he will not that tap out. That was Ricky Starks. Awesome. I know, I know that feeling, brother. Shield. Man, blood on my face. Aubrey Welts looked amazing in that. Look how bad he is, dude. In my neck. He refused to quit, no matter what Brian Danielson did. That was a horrible he beat. Made a that was amazing. In defeat. Tonight I proved a point. Look at all that I blood on him. To you, Brian Davis. Look at his head. I proved a point to you, AEW. Was that Tonight, like a big ass welt across his head? Not what? Tap me out. There's the not face. no man in this business that can tap me out. Seriously? There's not nobody that can match me. Was that what that was on his head? Look. From getting hit with the belt? I'm pissed off. I'm angry. When in the hell is it going to be time for somebody like me who does what they say? Because all I want is a chance. Mm. Don't give me a piece of bread and say that I've been fed. I want a full course meal. I don't want to have to keep me chills. my heart out you know because eventually I will be empty. And when I leave, that's it. I don't want to hear anybody knock on my door and ask me to come back. I believe in it. I mean it. I am everything I say I am. I'm absolute Ricky Starks, and I'm going to say that till I die. Dang, dude. 
I believe, what? I believe in I believe in you, Ricky Stark. Ricky Stark Dang. Said, you have to kill me. I will not quit. And this Saturday, lower our cameras and start to sink in a little bit. From the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. That was awesome. Also, this Ricky Starks is awesome. I'm telling you. Uh, we I'm have sure you know been knowing. I've been a big old Ricky what? Starks fan. You know, I thought Ricky Starks local. I thought my money was in the NWA. I thought he was going to go to WWE. Because I thought, you know, at the time, I thought, this dude's too good to be wrestling on the Indies and shit. Yeah. Same with NJF. I didn't like it when he turned heel initially, but now I'm like, yeah. oh, this is really good. Yeah, that, yeah. There was some physicality. NJF, you don't want to, you don't want to fight that angry old man. You don't want to fight some old jokes. Oh, yeah. After he was all busted and fucking dead. He's still like, uh, yeah, yeah, five years later. Uh, he's going to put on a, a neck brace like somebody we know. Oh, here we go. 